Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, Austrian campaign, where once again the French are... They hate me, man. I'm annoyed. I'm, 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 going, I'm going to accept the war. L let's get that out of the way first. Um, war it is. So, why am I annoyed? My shipbuilding is not completed. My fleet is not ready for this war. Not to mention that my fleet is still somewhat scattered all around. I have not um, moved them into proper attack positions or anything because I expected this to happen only two or three turns from now. I'm not quite caught with my pants down though, but... Yeah. Hi, 17 inch gun cruiser. Like this fleet here is not ready. Tripoli fleet, I'm not quite ready. Only submarines here. There are the destroyers. You need to go to Tunis. To resupply that fleet. Um, Southern France luckily is being attacked by the Germans. Meaning, Western France should be my target, I suppose. But yes, annoyed. In terms of finances, things are looking okay during wartime, during peacetime. It's a bit iffy, um, but we're managing. I am focusing down range finders. I want radars. Um, we're closing in on the 1930s, as you see, we're at 1926, so I want them, I want them, I want them. Anything else? Um, well, one Frederick is being built, the first of my 16-inch battleships. It will take some time, though. Like, what, 22 months? 24, even. Ooh. But once she is done, this will be a definite power in the Mediterranean. So... War against the French, status report. We have a shit ton of French ships um, next to my colonies. Some of my colonies have some protection, however, it's not a lot. We get an Italian battleship here, okay, interesting, interesting. Rabat, you got the Klagenfurt, Wolfsburg. Together with your destroyer, move to intercept. Get it. Yeah, let's rendezvous in Barcelona and join up with that fleet. Mallorca squadrons. Well, warship. Over there, submarines. Rest of the Mediterranean, please. These submarines. Eastern Mediterranean, well, submarine, Eastern Mediterranean, and these submarines will block off Suez. We're going to start off small, I think, and yeah, I, th I, I do think that attacking Southern France is more useful, although Western France has <sighs> more financial capabilities, really. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I deployed my ships here. I'm going to deploy here. This fleet... Well, fleet is a big word. These three ships run to Gibraltar. Submarines, Bay of Biscay, please. And let the battle commence. We have 125 ships. My battleships have been upgraded. My light cruisers, well, around a third has been upgraded by now. The heavy cruisers, of course, the old ones are gone. Only new ones remain. Well, newer ones. The destroyers have all been upgraded, so 55 long-range modern destroyers. Including some that can do 40 knots. They should be able to run circles around the enemy fleet. Mm, 
interesting, but no. Ooh, Klagenfurt. Engage. This is, of course, one of my more modern cruisers. I deployed two off the coast of Africa. I believe, or maybe one in Africa, one in uh, Cuba. That's also possible. And you have a little thunder with you. Let's go. Engaging enemy. Thunder, double check, torpedo range, 12 kilometers. Nice. And that means, hold on, the enemy is already in torpedo range of both ships. Thunder, slow down 28 knots, please, during the turn. Both of you are... Uh, you muppet! Klagenfurt, you almost blew up my own ship. Almost. Um, turn off torpedoes, please. Looks decent. Nah, they, they're gonna go for this gap. Although, although... <laughs> Impact! Klagenfurt, turn, Pander, turn. Let's assume enemy counter torpedo fire has happened. Twenty-four knots, please. Pander may increase to twenty-eight. Enemy ship sinks. So Klagenfurt. Doing decent, I say. Good hit, good hit. Whoa, enemy fire torpedoes, enemy fire torpedoes. Slow down, emergency turn. Both ships. And back to flank, please. Well, not quite flank. Let's go 22 knots on you. It's a weird design, but I like her. And we're out of enemy torpedo range. Enemy is gonna run, aren't I? Enemy can run at 28 knots, so that means I can keep up with you. Six point seven inch guns, single barrels. I like the fact that the RDF is still tracking the down ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are well within torpedo range now. Enemy is targeting my cruiser. No shots fired. My pander is rocking with her four inch guns. Ding, 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 ding. Not hitting a lot, but still. Uh, then again, you got six hits. Not doing a lot of damage, that is for sure. Armor piercing rounds, please. Break her. This is not a traditional warship. Not a traditional gun layout. I like it. I should do that more often. I really should. I'm not doing that enough for my liking. Also, Pandar. Please come in. With a smoke screen, please. Ooh. 
Now you can't see me. I'm pretending not to see you. She's turning. She's turning into the destroyer. Aggressive torpedoes authorized. Thunder, turn away. Cruiser. You're up. Ooh! Two torpedo hits. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Excellent. Yeah, both ships doing what they were meant to do. I like them. It's always, you know, especially with a new ship design, it's always a question, will, will they perform the way you want them to? Could have done with one or two more hits. But overall, yeah, I am very happy with what, uh, what just happened. A convoy, Uji. Port oh God, Portugal is my enemy today. Let's see. I'm bringing. Oh, I'm bringing uh, Dandolo against a ship with 16.9 inch guns. Hmm. Um. Also got Styria with 11s. It's essentially only two ships that I have. Pula with her seven inchers might be able to help. It's gonna be a tricky one. This is not the battle cruiser for this fight. But do I want to sacrifice the, uh, to the, the transport? No, I don't. Not at this stage of the war. A Portuguese alliance. Nasty French, nasty, well played. You're not the upgraded one, are you? No. Well, not the modern upgrade. I have two upgrades of that vessel. So, Dandolo, your 12 inch guns, Mark IVs, can still hit 40 km. Whoa. Maybe I take back my words. But you don't have a lot of shells. And you're gonna need a lot of shells for this kind of fight. Turn off torpedoes. Enemy range is 16 kilometers. Let's close in. Cruiser close in as well. Light cruiser, okay, yeah, that's fine. Destroyer stern battle cruiser. Make sure you the enemy dares to come in. That's fine. Smoke up on the destroyers, please. Enemy is just outside of my uh, torpedo range. Hold on, eight and a half? No, 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 no. I forgot to upgrade one of the wild fangs. Thunder, you are ready to go. But with that escort there, it's it's useless to fire those torpedoes. Now that the escort is gone, though, target the escort. Light cruiser as well, please. Destroyers try to catch them off guard. Kampfberg is down and out.
Report. Nasty. Nasty list. Well, in exchange, we managed to hit the enemy destroyer, but... Or light cruiser, probably. Nothing too fancy, though. Turn. Okay, yeah. One enemy ship down. Come back. Mm. Ouch. Come on. That is more like it. Smoke up. You're not seeing me. You're not seeing me. Yes, you are. Fuck it. Aggressive fire. <sighs> Detach. We're going in. On the other side. Light cruiser, battle cruiser. We are going in as well. Uji. Mark 116.9ers. Jeez. Crystal flank. A hits. Nothing fancy. Slight turn, slight turn. If the 16-inch guns hit me, I'm dead. No questions asked. Can I fire? That is a negative. Who are you targeting? You are targeting Pander. Flooding. 12-incher hit. Excellent. My battle cruiser is doing work as he charges it uh, as he charges in. Bandler, aggressive torpedoes. Still nothing. Wild Fang. You know I love you. Good, good, good. Flash fire! Uji sinks! Oh my god! Oh my god! So this is a Japanese ship, isn't it? Well, it's Portuguese, but the original design? Uji, either Japanese or Chinese. I think Japanese. 27 knots. Especially those guns are terrifying. However, we succeeded. Killing her. Ooh! And another 12 incher seals the fate of the light cruiser. Okay. Okay. Dandolo did. Dandolo did better than expected. Yes. A lot better. Kampfenbach is out. Asteria class. One of the, well, now older heavy cruisers in my fleet, but that's okay. Huh! Oh, that is wonderful. Wonderful! I mean, starting off with scrapping a battle cruiser, even though it's not a French one, but a Portuguese one, um, I still consider that a big victory. 16.9 inch guns. Oh crap, did I? I don't know what I clicked. I did not expect that screen to come up. Oh, crap, no. Not a peace deal now. I'll be grumpy. I would be very grumpy. Um, crew train. I'm at minus 100 million? What? Let's not. The 
I gotta wait until these ships are commissioned. Then I can move that fleet. Barcelona fleet is wet, ready. Gibraltar fleet is ready as well. Um, we're seeing submarines though. So rather than sending out my entire fleet. I'm gonna send a Pandar group out from there and a Pandar group from here, I think. To hunt down those, those submarines. I want them cleared before I move in with my heavy capital ships. Talking about heavy capital ships, we got a Bohemia and Richard class and a big L 17 inch gun battle cruiser ready there. That is the third fleet that will move in. France is attacking Spain, okay. Oh yeah, the German attack stops. Oh, that is unfortunate. Submarine attack, probably against my destroyers. If I can take one of these French provinces, I will, uh, I'll break them. But that's easier said than done, I found. I found that these are two of the harder provinces to take in this game. Evil French. You would think that the northern part of France would be easy, would be hard to take, but yeah. Oh, thank God, war continues. Alright, submarines. Yes! Two submarines destroyed. Hi, France. Fleet 1. Fleet 2. Fleet 3. Fleet 4. You have two destroyers on that fleet, so I'm going to move three destroyers to join you. This fleet has four destroyers, that one has three. Okay, I'm going to move these destroyers over here, at least. Am I? Yeah, Pandar needs to uh, repair. That's okay. Let's do that. French fleet is no longer there, but there are French ships here. And I don't really have a lot of, I have not really reinforced this area, although there are Italian ships here apparently. Fun times, I suppose. I could mm, move a fleet and attack these French colonies here, drive them off uh, African uh, American coasts. Eh, possible, possible. Yeah, tell me. The ships that I've not drew still Valencia. Apparently still has some ships. Let's move them. Okay. Minus 140 million. Okay, I'm going to drop the research down to 80%, so we only lose 30 million. That's fine. Rangefinder, Stereoscopic 5. Yeah, that's one of the last ones. Tell me, politics, France, naval invasion, southern France, yes. Let's see what happens. I can see what's happening, and they don't have a clue. I will not have enough ships to deal with you. All the men are crying, death and despair. 
It's all there. Sorry. Ooh, Otto. Otto is on her own? Against revenge. Oh. Let's play. These are two ships being sent from Spain to reinforce... Yeah. Unlucky there. That'll teach me to attack with my pants down, essentially. Um, always keep your fleets in combat fleets. If you spread them out too much, yeah, things like this will happen. Luckily, Otto and Stör are some good ships. But it's going to be a nasty fight, I think. Could be. Otto, slow down. 20 knots. Is that acceptable? Yeah, that's acceptable. Störe. Close in. Smoke up. Close in at the enemy. Otto, you will reacquire the target in a few moments. A few minutes. Minutes of in-game time, of course. Störer has a uh, Stör. That's quite a nasty uh, torpedo complement. Nine kilometer range torpedoes. Haven't upgraded them to the newest 12s. However, I don't have to. Torpedoes away. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Target the next one. Sharp turn. Torpedoes away. Well done, light cruiser. You may disengage. Enemy detected torpedoes already. The torpedo hits on a unknown warship. What? Don't tell me the torpedoes fired at you. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, full miss on the first salvo. Second salvo's gonna miss as well, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Although, maybe. No! 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 <coughs> Missed! <laughs> Woo. Enemy torpedo attack. Mental note, enemy is within torpedo range. Auto increase to flank for a second. And please fire armor piercing rounds only. Alright, slow down to 18 knots again. They're gonna miss. Störe. Stör, pardon me, not stör. <laughs> One hit. Ooh! That is some good hits on the enemy battleship there. Well done, Otto. Well done. You have a 27% chance to hit. That is not bad. It was an aiming salvo, wasn't it? No, it was the dual one salvo. Okay. Another hit, another one. Good, 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 good. This battleship is taking heavy fire. And heavy flooding. Talking about French battleships, let's take a look. What can we tell? These are old dreadnoughts. Oh, this is a Portuguese ship, not a French one. Twelve and a half inch guns, tell me. Revanche is French. Fifteen inch guns, I'm targeting the wrong ship. Still, might as well kill her now. But that is somewhat frustrating. Ooh, that looks scary. And the 
again automatically decide as, hey, you're right, let's target another ship. Start smoke. Start turn. You got hit by an 18, sure, how dare you. Frenchie. Almost reloaded. On the torpedoes. Yikes. Twenty two per cent chance to hit. Nine point five kilometers out. Torpedoes have a nine point five kilometer range, so yeah. We could launch them at the Common Prince, knock her out of the fight, destroy her. Guns. Get the attention of the destroyer torpedoes. Alright, so let's turn. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll launch the torpedo attack at the uh, Common Prince, knock her out. I'm confident that my 14 inchers can deal with the French battleship. Alright, range to target, 6 kilometers, and closing. Terrifying. I am way too close, I'm gonna launch it 6.5, 5.5, let's do it. Torpedoes away, torpedoes away, smoke up, more torpedoes, more torpedoes. Me, 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 me. Stuh. That was one of my more modern light cruisers, you ass. And he's gonna miss, ah. God damn it. That's frustrating. Why the hell are you targeting that ship now? Because the Frenchie is running. Hmm. Alright, increase to flank. Let's go after the Portuguese battleship. Ooh, my eight inches are opening up. Auto. You. Otto is one of my most modern ships. Would be a bit of a shame if she, if she died. Although I have faith I can deal with this. Somewhat disappointed though about the light cruiser performance. She should have neutralized one enemy ship at least. Man, this works too. Don't get me wrong. Main guns, secondary guns, come about. Bring my secondary battery to bear. Slow down, 19 knots. Let's play a bit with the speed. Make it harder for the destroyer to hit me. Should she still have torpedoes? I do not know. Go speed 19 knots, increase to flank. That is a hit. Indeed. That's a miss, I believe. There might be a single hit there. Knots, please. Enemy battleship is doing 23 knots currently. So let's go 24 myself. Enemy battleship, let's take a look. We haven't really seen these modern French battleships lab yet. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I want to know. You still have a shit ton of torpedoes? 
but they're only six kilometer range. Okay, I don't have to panic. My eight inches are keeping the destroyer occupied while my four teams are hitting the battleship. What more do I want? Not getting hit. Well, something just died. The destroyer. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. One target remains. Otto can do it. Slow down, 20 knots. Chance to hit is nearly 40% by now. I'm taking that. Those are good odds. Enemy battleship has a 12% chance of hitting me. And has, of course, taken some nasty damage already. 15 inch Mark II guns. Ooh. That was scary. How dare you hit me? Me! Fire! One hit, I believe. Two. Incoming return shells. Oh dear. Saw that one coming. Did not see that one coming. <laughs> hey, that was a very good hit. Your chance to hit suddenly went down a lot. You know what? Let's try and high explosive salvo. And let's slow down to 18 knots. Enemy is doing 20 knots. some nasty hits on the enemy. Let's do that again. Let's fire another high explosive salvo before going back to armor piercing. Stand by. Fire one. And number two. Yeah, unless they uh, flash fire me. They should not be able to, to win this anymore. All my shots missed. How disappointing. Ooh, 11%. Yeah, that's bad. Let's do that. Dual. Oh, impact. Nope, barely missed. My dual guns are running out. Auto select rounds, please. Destroy the main gun. That is a lot of your firepower gone, isn't it? A quarter. Fire. 
fire. It's interesting that my battleship wants to fire high explosives, uh, if they can. I want to fire AP as long as we have them. Dual guns. Dribbles. Speed, 18 knots. Let's close the distance a bit. Increase to flank. Range to target, 13 kilometers. Secondary gun marks out. Another funnel hit. I do like the fact the French ship has torpedoes. I also like the fact that they're only 12 kilometers. It also means that the French have a lot of ships that they have not upgraded yet. Since we saw cruisers with 6 uh, kilometer range uh, weapons. Good hit, good hit, but they fixed all their flooding damage. Do you see that? It's all fixed up. Only, please. We are pursuing. Enemy is doing 17 knots. Range to target 12 kilometers. And that is the rumble of 8 inch guns. This gun cannot turn further, but I guess it's due to the wiring that you don't want to damage. I suppose that is it. Part of me wants to leave this ship alive now. Just because this will be such a long and expensive repair for the French. Taking up dockyard space for a ship that's... I don't know, is it good? I haven't really looked at her. Citadel 3, Anti-Flood 2, Crop 4 Armor, Oil 1, 2 Powder TNT 3, 18 inch torpedo, stereoscopic 3 rangefinder. You know, if you would change the rangefinder, it would not be a bad ship. And in terms of gun layout, let's take a look. 3 15 inchers, 2 8 inchers, and a sizable secondary battery. Yeah! 
I would have added another uh, 15 rather than the 8, I think. But besides that, lovely ship. Eleven percent. Ten percent. <laughs> Nine. <sighs> there goes the eight. <laughs> uh. She took a hell lot of damage, though. Many bullcats. Okay, that surprises me. I would have expected this girl to have uh, maximum bullcats. One percent. Holy shit, 1% chance to hit. That was uh, a bit low. A bit on the low side. Jeez. 6%? The entire ship is rad. Except for two compartments. They stopped shooting back, I presume it's an angle issue, yeah. 5% remaining. That's a big salvo. Down to 4. <laughs> Please close the distance. How fast can you still go? 15 knots. How close are you? 13 knots. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Long range engagements. What can I say? Select rounds, please. Since we're out of armor piercing. Enemy ship is at 3% structure. 3. percent <sighs> Jeez. I know, right? And to think, they had two battleships and a light cruiser. They should have... I think they should... They, they had a good chance of winning this. One or two good hits from these 15 inches would have destroyed my battleship. Point three. Job done. Mm -mm -mm. I lost the Stör. A Koros class. Yeah, that is my newest. My newest light cruiser. And the Otto. That's a Richardis class. Did good. 
the Hagen and the Revanche. The Hagen was a German ship. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the war against the French has once again kicked off. Join me next time to see how it will continue. Until then, take care. <laughs>